I'm Bill Duke, and I'm a filmmaker, and um, I want to talk about A Raisin in the Sun, starring the great uh, Sidney Poitier, and um, also with a, an interestingly incredible, insightful um, introduction by David Susskind. My name is David Susskind and my business is producing entertainment for television and motion picture theater. Here to explain, look folks, you know, this is a little different. Get ready, but take a deep breath. <laughs> Here comes a story about a black family with dignity and issues that literally you can relate to, not in terms of their color of their skin, but their humanity. Get ready, you know. It was like a warning. And the reason this film is so wonderful to me is that yeah, it's a black family, you know. But the human story of this, this son that wants to be everything that his mother sees him as and everything that his sister hopes he will be and everything his, his father wanted him to be. And in trying to prove it, he ruins everything. What's great about this story is that he rebuilds out of that self-destruction. And it also shows the love of family. You know, even though she's disappointed, there's not one moment where that mother does not love him. Not one second when she does not feel, although violated by his stupidity, that she knew that he was trying his best to make things better. And when he says, I'm going to go to the white man and kiss him and say, I'm sorry, Mr. White Man, for... Oh my God, I'm so sorry for moving to your neighborhood. Just give me 20% more timber on this house, you know. When she sees that, that's when she really says, you know, the money was nothing, that loss was nothing. But what you just did, that was, well, it wasn't for Sydney, I wouldn't be sitting here. And he is the, the person with the greatest sense of dignity, positive image, how he carried himself as a man and as an actor. Gave a whole different sense of things to our business in terms of black men. He was a pioneer in the sense of what he chose to do and how he did it. And then even after he had the power to do his own stuff, there was always a sense of dignity and pride, you know. And still to this day, he holds that same honor. To say that now doesn't seem like very much, but to have not seen it previously at that time was a big deal. There were no real Sidney Poitiers before him. You know, there were black men in movies. They were good, I'm not saying, but this guy came along and he had a certain way of looking people in the eye and keeping his dignity and pride that was very, very important for us historically. Not just in terms of film, that's beyond film, I'm talking about historically. Made you stand a little straighter. I love him today for that. <laughs>